What's going on guys? It's the Coaster Battleman here bringing you another video. First time in a while that I have uploaded and it's five roller coaster models or roller coasters going from underrated to overrated. And this is kind of an interesting topic that I just thought of right before making the video and the whole slideshow. So yeah, five roller coaster models or roller coasters going from underrated rides to overrated and this is easily the most obvious one and it's gravity group wooden, family wooden coasters and it's not the thrilling wooden coasters but they're fa the family wooden coasters the smaller ones due to the announcement of Kentucky Flyer it seems like these rides have been growing to be more popular by enthusiasts and more of them have been talking about these and I feel like they're starting to get a little overrated, and the hype is, I could see it being pretty real, but I feel like these rides are being too overhyped a little bit, and yeah. These rides are solid, but they aren't like these elite rides. So, moving on, we have Magnum XL 200, and this is a ride that is pretty was pretty underrated at one point in time like a year or two ago and then it just seems like the ride seems to, to keep getting better and better and the rides getting more overrated and I know can the coaster fan he says that this coaster is an unbelievable ride and super fun and I know this coaster is a great ride but it's not an elite tier hyper coaster like, it's a good ride, don't get me wrong, but it's not on the uh, that elite tier. Like, it's probably for me, I, I think it's a great ride, not on the elite tier, though. And Magnum, it just seems to be an overrated ride. So, moving on, we have B&M Flying Coasters, and B&M Flying Coasters, well, Superman Ultimate Flight, easily... Just based on the general public I've seen waiting in the line for Superman this year. They were saying the ride's super enjoyable and so much fun. And people at my school they say this ride is just awesome and easily one of the best coasters in the park. But no, that's not true. This ride literally only has two amazing elements. The first drop, awesome element, and the pretzel loop. That is an elite element as well. Everything else... The ride just meanders around the course and just does some little turns. And the only other thing going for Superman is that it's smooth. And being in flying coasters as a whole are really overhyped because of that flying position. So yeah, being in flying coasters are really overrated rides. And then this is another personal one I put on here, the Dark Knight. And well, the Dark Knight, a ton of GP really love this coaster and I don't know why this coaster is so loved by many general public riders but it's probably because it's indoors and that's basically the only reason why and this coaster is not really that fun compared to other coasters at Six Flags Great America or Six Flags Mexico for that example like the Dark Knight sure it's a solid coaster but I don't think it's the greatest. Like, for family coaster, it's decent. For a coaster in general, it's not that great. And it's better than I used to remember this ride by, but I still think this coaster's pretty overrated by the general public. But for coaster enthusiasts, this ride is pretty bad. And Mako is the final coaster here, and... Back in like 2016, 2017, we had Intimid Intimidator being easily the most overrated hyper coaster, and then that overratedness kind of died down, and Mako seems to be it, be the new overrated coaster, and Coaster Studios seems to be like the king of making rides overrated and underrated, and it's a pretty funny but true statement. And, yeah, Mako is a great hyper coaster. I don't think it's as good as Intimidator or Diamondback, but I could see it being very, very close, but not on 
the level of Intimidator and Diamondback and Shambhala in Europe. So, yeah, Mako, great ride, but not the best hypercoaster in the world. Or in the United States, for that matter. So, thank you for watching, and as always, stay tuned for more videos, and peace out.